Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to define load combinations inside ETAPS software. And before doing this, let me remind you what we have did for now. We have assigned all the gravity loads, uh, wind loads and earthquake computed from equivalent lateral force procedure. The load patterns shown is here. And we have imported the design response spectrum in the previous video. This is the spectrum for Bangkok side of Thailand. Okay, from define, we need first to define load cases. I will add a new case. And I will name it RSA in X direction, which is response spectrum analysis. I will choose the load case type as response spectrum and just click add here for the load applied. Of course, we should choose U1 for X direction and the function is Bangkok 2.5%. The scale factor here means the gravity, just keep it as it is. And for the model combination method, we can choose CQC, US, RSS. I'm familiar, to be honest, with the first two options. I will use the first one. And for directional combination type, we don't care about it because we will not apply the earthquake in the two direction at the same time. And for diaphragm eccentricity, I would provide 5%. This is recommended by ASCE, and this is the minimum actually. I will copy the same load case. However, now I will define it for the Y direction, and I will choose from here U2. This is all what we need to do here in this load case. Okay, let me go to ASCE now. Before proceeding, I will show you something here in table 12.6. ASCE have put the permitted analytical procedure in this table. For example, for structures with no structural irregularities and not exceeding 160 feet in structural height, we can use equivalent lateral forces procedure. However, my building is 102 meter and 160 feet is equivalent to 49 meter. Therefore, I cannot use equivalent lateral force procedure for designing this kind of tall buildings. I will use the model response spectrum analysis. And for doing this, let's go to the section of the model response spectrum analysis. First, we need to include sufficient number of modes to attain or to reach a minimum of 90% of model mass participation ratio. We have did it previously this one. I have included 30 modes. And for design demands, we need to divide the response spectra by R over I or to multiply the spectra by I over R. And we need to amplify displacement by and drift the quantities by CD over I. And in this section, it shows just the model combination rule that can be used SRS or CQC and I have used the complete quadratic combination CQC and actually I have computed the equivalent lateral force base shear because we needed to estimate the scale factor for example as shown here where the calculated fundamental period exceeds CUTA in a given direction CUTA shall be used in lieu of the T. This is what we have did in this lecture, maybe the seismic force of equivalent lateral force procedure. You can watch it again if you don't understand what I'm talking about. We should use CUTA, which is T maximum. And here where the combined response for the model base shear VT is less than 80% of calculated base shear V, which computed from equivalent lateral force procedure, therefore, we should compute the scale factor as follow 0.85 V over VT. Therefore, we need the seismic force of ELF to compute the scale factor. Okay, let's go now to ETAPS. From define load cases, I have shown you that I have now created these two load cases. However, I didn't include the R or I factor yet. I will include it using a load combination. From define load combinations, I will add the first load combination and I will name it, for example, reduced SA in X direction. I will choose response spectrum in X direction, of course. 
and here we should use i over r as shown here please note ASCE said divide this mean multiply by i over r don't be confused okay I'm using i of 1.25 and r factor of 6 and let's copy again this both combination and I will name it for y direction and the scale factor is just the same okay I will copy again I will name this one displacement for x direction and as shown here we should multiply the spectra by CD over I I'm using CD equal to 5 and I 1.25 and this lead to 4 however we should use now the reduced therefore I have put here CD over I and this reduced load combination it is multiplied by I over R therefore I over R multiplied by CD over I leads to CD over R we can for example choose RSAX and say CD over R which is 5 over 6 which will lead to the same value trust me in this I will copy again this one and I will define a lot combination for the Y direction and I will select RSAY okay now we need to add these load combinations and we need to do something before adding these load combinations because as I mentioned before we need to include the scale factor here I will run the analysis because I want the base shear computed from the reduced RSA in order to compute the scale factor okay let's run the analysis now okay the analysis is finished now we go to display show tables structure output base reactions and let me select the load patterns that I need I just need those EQX and EQY are from ELF and I need response spectrum in the both directions and the reduced okay let me first copy the base shear for ELF or equivalent lateral force procedure I will copy it to here let me remove the minus And the same value is for y direction. Let me copy it to here. This RSA is the unreduced, which means we don't use the R factor here. And the reduced here, the reduced RSA in the x direction, for example, have this value, which is just the same here. Here I just say is equal to this self multiplied by i over r i over r this is just what I did which is just the same as the value we obtain here and for the RSA in the y direction we copy this value and this is what we need from this excel I will close it okay going again to ASE let's confirm about what I'm doing we need just to compute the scale factor which is 0 0.85 multiplied by base shear of ELF divided by the base shear obtained from response spectrum analysis of course the base shear obtained from response spectrum which is reduced by the R factor 
Therefore, I will I take here 0 0.85 ELF base shear, and the scale factor is equal just to this value divided by this value. We should notice that here I put tie code because the equivalent letter of force base shear obtained from tie code is different from the one obtained from ASCE. They have their own computations. Therefore, because I'm doing this project for for Bangkok or for Thailand, I will use these scale factors. Okay, let's go again to ETAPS. And now we go again to define the load combinations. I will name this internal force in the X direction. I will choose the reduced load case and I will use 1.8. 1.8 I will copy the same one however this is for y direction and I will put 1.3 I name it as internal force because we need to use these two load combination for obtaining the internal forces we shouldn't use the reduced demand which is the response spectrum analysis design demand multiplied by I over R we should use the scale demand therefore I this is why I name it as internal force however it's just an earthquake okay and let's start defining these slot combinations 1.4 dead load plus 1.7 live load Okay, for this load combination, we need to define two load combination for one for earthquake in x direction and one for earthquake in the y direction times 1.4 which is and 1.4 times 1.7 oh sorry 0 0.75 live load and I will add this one now I should choose the internal force in the X direction please don't do a mistake here you should choose the internal force X don't use the reduced this is internal force means scaled up with the scale factor. I will copy the same formula, however, now I will name it for y direction. I will choose now internal force y. Okay. I will add the first equation again. However, I will take the effect of the force in the y direction 30% let me show you ASCE there is some provision or subsection about the orthogonal effect of earthquake loads okay as shown in this section direction of loading sometimes we need to consider the orthogonal effect we should apply a force for example in the x direction and 30% of the earthquake in the y direction this is sometimes required I will copy the same one now I will name it Y and I will take 30% for the X direction and just here switch ok we still have to define this one add a new combination 0 0.9 of the dead load plus 1 earthquake in the X direction
I will do just the same. I will include the effect in the Y direction. I will copy this one. Now these are the load combination for the wind actually they are just the same as these two load combinations however here earthquake is included while real wind load is included I will just copy the same formula for example this one however I will say wind x and let's choose wind okay I will copy just the same code combination. I will name it Y. And for this one, build X. And wind Y. And therefore this is just all what we need uh, for load combination in this uh, project and please continue the next video.